just a little bit later than normal, but uh, the Jovian Concorde update 25.1 landed three hours ago. I'm running a little bit late on this one. This brings Tenogen round 16, and I had to look at this twice to realise that the third one in from the left was actually Frost. I was starting to wonder if it was the Wukong skin uh, second in from the right. There is also Korra, two for Nyx, uh, two for Valkyr. Well, Valkyr and Nyx kind of stand out. This is Nyx in the middle with Valkyr next to her. Seven in total. But isn't that very Titania looking for... I'm guessing that's the Korra skin because that looks like... Oh my god, that looks like Valkyrie. There are three new helmets, uh, that would be Korra's helmet, again that looks very much like a Titania helmet, Frost's helmet that, yep, that definitely looks like a Frost, and it kind of goes without saying, that's a Hydroid. There are three new Operator cosmetics, the Aurus ear accessory, something facial accessory and something else ear accessory, I'm assuming that Two of these go together because the Garashu facial accessory and the Garashu ear accessory are made by, actually, yeah, all of these are made by the same person and somebody else. I will do that as soon as Steam finishes updating. I don't use it in Steam a lot and I knew this was coming this week. I should have updated it in advance, but it's being a bit obnoxious. There are two Sandanas, the Diablo Lilo. Sandana and the Sen Victus Sandana. Actually, I like the top of the one on the right, but the one on the left has a lot more for the bottom part. I will secretly hope one day you can kind of interchange the top and bottom of Sandanas. It'll never be a thing, but I eh, can still hope. And hoping, well, a world without hope is not a world you really want to live in anyway, but this one threw me off. I seen this and was ready to say, oh, there's also, to finish this up, three weapon skins. There's not. There is the pole arm skin, which is literally just called the pole arm scopus skin, which kind of self-explanatory, it's the top one, and the Ugolta, that is an Akana skin. This bottom part is the sheath. And, wow, okay, it looks nothing like an Akana, but that sheath would definitely make this thing worth it. Then there is, and it just says in the forum post about this, as always, will be linked in the description below, there is a, a noggle has been added to the marketplace that has us very excited. Uh, the easy way to do this is just going to be to hide owned, and no noggle has appeared. Go to landing craft and I actually have absolutely no idea what this is. Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say that it's, yeah, Tyregor. Uh, I don't see why this would be so exciting unless it, because it looks like it's not mounted, unless it was to move. Like, actually jump off and wander around the Lisset. That would be cool, but probably also cost a lot more, since the rumba costs 100. Things that wander around wouldn't be 35 plat. But there is a new noggle that looks pretty cool nonetheless. Actually, I, I take it back. The head doesn't fit in the back piece and it's kind of clipping through. I think they all do that though, so that's no big deal. Wisp has had some improvements mainly to breach surge. Instead of it being 15 meters, it is now, as you can see, 18, and there is a guaranteed surge spike when you land a killing blow on an enemy affected by it. There is also bad news at the same time, because I think I've used footage of this a few times, Solgate will no longer damage nullifier bubbles. Makes sense. It does nullify Warframe abilities. The fact that it worked on it, kind of daft, but I hope that you can still use it to kill the thing that hovers around the orbs. I wonder if I can show this. Doesn't look like I can without actually loading it into game, but if you've played Warframe, you'll know what I mean. Above him should be... 
that's basically what's attached to his back here and that is what projects the nullifying bubble and if you take that out the bubble is supposed to go away not that I've ever actually seen anybody successfully pull that maneuver off but hopefully you can still shoot that which will take down the bubble using Solgate otherwise that's just really it makes sense still not fair and showing the game's age there is a ton of fixes they've also mentioned this week stuff about the console build for the Jovian Concorde it's still in development if everything is the way that they were saying it was last week most of these fixes will also be done and very quickly for that so hopefully because the forum post has now been made and not choosing uh, favorites or anything the switch one was just at the top hopefully this will be sooner rather than later the aiming to have it submitted to cert this week which is great because it's going to bring everything that's come out so far apart from the Tenogen stuff I say that and literally land on the Tenogen stuff <laughs> this isn't the new Tenogen stuff they are still rolling that out this is a bundle from round 14 but all of these will be coming but more importantly than that and back to the game showing its age out of all of these fixes possibly my favorite was that one right there Fix Zanooka being unable to capture Hildren, Wisp, Revenant, Chroma, Frost, Excalibur. Why not just put all frames? <laughs> Zanooka not being able to do what he has been sent to do makes Zanooka useless. That has been fixed. There is no exploiting that so you can continue to revive yourself and try and take out Zanooka. All gone. And the infiltrate augment still triggering alarms from laser doors has also been fixed. A lot of fixes, again forum post for this if you want to read through all of these in the description below. We'll leave this off here for now so I can try and get these things to load properly because Steam just hates me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.